Hi to all. Today I am going to explain compound microscope. Compound microscope are the simple microscope. These are the two types of microscopes. Simple microscope and compound microscope. These are used to see the smaller objects which are unable to see by using our naked eye or the direct eye. If you are unable to see with your direct eye, then that type of small particles we can see by using simple microscope or compound microscope. Now, what is compound microscope and what is its construction and how it will work that I am going to explain. And for that, let us see here. The compound microscope consists, it consists, it consists of Two convex lenses. It consists of two convex lenses. Okay. One is called as objective. Okay, the lenses names. One is called as objective. And the other one is called as eyepiece. Now the lens compound microscope has two lenses. One is objective and other is eyepiece. Objective is the lens. It is towards the object. It is towards object. And eyepiece is towards I now one more point I am going to explain while selecting the two lenses okay their focal length of the two lenses must be less okay and the focal length of objective focal length of objective must be less than must be less than focal length of eyepiece. We have to select the two lenses. In that one lens objective, its focal length is should be less than focal length of focal length of eyepiece. One more point I am going to give that is aperture of objective also. Aperture of objective is aperture of objective right aperture of objective it has two lenses aperture of objective aperture means diameter of the lens right this is the lens the lens diameter is to be aperture aperture of objective lens Aperture of objective is less than the less than the aperture of aperture of IPs. Aperture of IPs. That means A naught less than A E. Where A naught is the aperture of objective. And A is the aperture of eyepiece. Here focal length of objective, if you take it as F0, it is less than the focal length of eyepiece. This is a compound microscope. Now, I am going to derive the magnifying power of compound microscope. For that, we require to draw the diagram. We have to know the construction and how it will form the image. And here, some more points, some two points I will give extra. That is, there are Compound microscope consists of two lenses, two convex lenses. The distance between the two lenses is adjusted. The distance between two lenses, the distance between two lenses, the distance between the two lenses is adjusted by using by using rock and pinion screws rock and 
pinion screws by using screws we can adjust the distance between the two lenses if we see this let us consider this is the one lens this is the objective okay this is the objective lens and now it is uh, fixed in metal frame right this is the eyepiece okay this is the eyepiece it has the two lenses one is objective and other one is eyepiece these are the two lenses like this they are fixed in the metal frame and the distance between the two lenses is adjusted to form the clear image right and now one more point i am going to explain that is it can form the it forms inverted image inverted enlarged and virtual image okay virtual image now you take the screenshot and note it next i am going to derive the magnifying power of compound microscope formula derivation let us derive the magnifying power of compound microscope then for the purpose what we have to do and how to derive it it was very simple right it consists of two lenses we discussed the <coughs> construction right it consists of two lenses it consists of two lenses one is objective and uh, eyepiece let us see here and this is an objective lens okay this is objective and this is an eyepiece this eyepiece has larger aperture what is this eyepiece and now this is the line passing through the optical centers of the two lenses this is o we can consider this as o dash and let us take one object this ab is an object okay and it has the principal focus for example this is the principal focus of the objective and this side also principal focus is there principal focus means it is principal focus means it is a point on the principal axis it is a point on the principal axis it is at focal length distance right and let us draw the diagram for this this is an object the object we can consider as ab ab is an object let us take the two light rays okay one light ray is passing through optical center it can go in straight without bending okay this is the first light ray that we i am taking that is passes through optical center and one more light ray i will take that is incident parallel to the principal axis when it is incident parallel to the principal axis it can go it can passes through focus and it will meet the these two lines meet at a point and there the image will be forms there the image will be forms for example this is an image okay this is an image okay this is an image and now the image we can consider as a dash and b dash and this point okay this point okay is principal focus of objective for example the principal focus of ipc is at here f suffix e f suffix e this ip is principal focus on the right side also it will be there okay and the object distance for the objective we can consider as u not and object distance image distance for the objective is v not the image forms by the objective lens act as object for the second lens then the second lens forms the image then where the image will be forms look at here this is an object it is between the principal focus and optical center when the object is lies between the principal focus and optical center the image forms on the same side 
right for that purpose you take the two light rays again right one light ray is passes through optical center it can go in the straight without any bending okay it can go in straight without any bending like this it will go and one more light ray i will take that is passes parallelly right then when it is passes parallelly then it will after the refraction it will passes through focus you see uh, this is the focus of eyepiece this is the focus of eyepiece after the refraction it will passes through focus on the right side they are going far away from each other they never meet on the right side if they will meet on the right side then the image will be forms where the refracted light rays meet with each other and now here we can do the extension of these two light rays in the backward like this we have to do the extension of the extension for the two light rays if we do the extension at here we will get like this this is the extension and here the light rays are meeting with each other here the light rays are meeting with each other these are the straight lines and now we have to make we have to join them and finally <coughs> image will be forms at here where the two light rays meet with each other there the image will be forms this is the ig the image distance the image distance final image distance from the eyepiece we can consider as v suffix e and this distance okay you see here this is a dash b dash is the object for the eyepiece object distance we can take is u suffix e okay right this is the diagram okay and you see this one very carefully okay now let us go for the derivation of the magnifying power and once before that i will explain once again this is the original object ab when we see this object from on the other side this is eyepiece its focal length is f suffix o and its focal length is f suffix e right and now firstly we are taking the object ab and one light ray is passes through optical center it can go in straight and one light ray is parallel to the incident parallel to the principal axis it passes through focus and they will meet at a point and where they will meet and there the image will be forms and a dash b dash is the image forms by the objective and this image will act as object for the second lens and the second lens forms the image that is ig okay and a dash b dash is the object for the eyepiece object distance is u suffix e and ig is the image forms by the ips image distance is v suffix e for the object object distance is u not image distance is v not for the ips object distance is ue object distance is ue and image distance is ve now let us go for the magnifying power formula i am going to derive it was very simple that is magnifying power formula we have that is angular magnification angular magnification formula is m is equal to we have that is visual angle with instrument visual angle with instrument by visual angle maximum visual angle maximum visual angle visual angle with unaided i unaided i okay right then this we can write as m is equal to theta by theta not we write and theta nearly we can write as tan theta and theta not we can write as tan theta not what is this theta with visual angle with instrument when you will use the instrument then how much visual angle will be there what is visual angle for example this is an object 
and this object is makes some angle at the eye you join the both ends of objectivity here and at the eye this is an object OJ it makes some angle at the eye that is called as visible angle visible angle with instrument when we see this AB object for, for you IG will appear AB will not appear A dash B dash will not appear final image will be appears initial object is AB if you not use this instrument AB will appears and final image if you use this instrument then final inverted image IG you will see right and IG distance is VE now visual angle with instrument that means this is this image appears with the instrument and this is making some angle you see here and this is the theta okay very important point at here this is the visual angle with instrument okay, the diagram is very important this is the theta this is the theta right what is theta not maximum visual angle with unaided eye unaided eye means what unaided eye means what unaided eye means you see here this is object a b and it is kept at the this object is kept at the near point near point means at a least distance of distinct vision 25 centimeters distance then the visual angle become maximum because this is the least distance when you keep at the least distance then the angle it will make it is maximum this is the maximum visual angle without instrument without instrument maximum visible angle is this one this we can consider as H okay this is D and now I am going to derive the magnifying power formula for that first we have to write the tan theta and the next we have to write the tan theta not, tan theta not formulas and then after that I have to simplify this and I am taking the one thing that this is the object height I will take as object height I will take as H and it forms the image this image height I will take as H dash okay H dash and now we have to simplify it visual angle maximum visual angle with unaided eye means with without using instrument if you see direct object how much angle it is making it makes some angle but where we have to keep that object that object first you keep at the least distance when you will keep it long distance we will see like this if you keep it here we have to see like this then the angle will be increases when you will keep at the near point we want the maximum visible angle for that you have to keep the object at the you have to keep the object at the near point okay right now we have to substitute all the values now for that m is equal to okay tan theta from the figure right tan theta we will get from the triangle a dash b dash o dash you see a dash b dash o, o triangle a dash b dash o dash this is theta okay actually the diagram will be in downward it is there I will draw how it is showing in the feature that like that I will draw this is the a dash b dash this is theta right then what you will write here tan theta is a dash b dash by a dash o dash we write here like this tan theta from this right what do we write tan theta a dash b dash a dash b dash is nothing but h dash okay h dash by okay a dash b dash is h dash by Okay, a dash o dash, a dash o dash is nothing but u e, h dash by u e by, okay, tan theta naught is fixed, tan theta naught is h by d, opposite side h, adjacent side d, this formula is fixed, even in simple microscope also we used, that is h by d only, then if you will simplify this, h dash by u e into, this will be become reverse, d by h, the next step we write here that is h dash by h into d by u e we will write this we can consider as equation one next uh, for the eyepiece in case of eyepiece i will apply some formulas 
in case of eyepiece thin lens formula i want to apply thin lens formula you know thin lens formula what is that 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u for the eyepiece object is a dash b dash object distance is what for the eyepiece object is a dash b dash object distance is u e then u we write as u we write as minus u e because it is the left side okay and for the eyepiece image is i g right then image distance we write as v is equal to minus v e and the focal length of object 2 it is f e this we substitute then we know thin lens formula that is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u now substitute these values in above equation above that conditions you substituted here 1 by f e is equal to 1 by minus v e minus 1 by minus u e you will get then the next step i will get like this that is 1 by f e is equal to minus 1 by v e plus 1 by u e we will get then from this if you if you write the 1 by u e formula okay i am going to get the 1 by u e formula from this that is 1 by u e is equal to we write 1 by v e plus 1 by f e okay this we can consider as equation 2 okay now what i am doing it here minus 1 by v e i am taking left side then i am writing the 1 by u e this formula then now what i am going to do one thing that equation 2 is substituted in equation 1 if you substitute in equation 1 then what you will get m is equal to h dash by h h dash by h into d by u e we write d into 1 by u e but 1 by u e is what here what we write 1 by u e d into 1 by u e we write 1 by u e is what 1 by v e plus 1 by f e we will get okay right and now this we can simplify a little bit and then we will get m is equal to h dash by h into we will get as d by v e plus d by f e we will get okay d by v e plus d by f e we will get this is equation 3 equation 3 we write here but one thing you know right Okay, let us continue this. Uh, here, equation 3, we got this one. Okay, next, uh, I am going to <coughs> continue it. You see here, uh, equation 3, we got it here. But uh, h dash is what? Height of image. Height of image forms by object 2. H is the object for the object 2. Then he, here, but one thing we know magnifying power of objective magnifying power of objective lens what is the magnifying power of objective lens we know that m is equal to okay height of image by height of object for objective lens image is a dash b dash h dash its height is h dash objective for the objective lens is AB, its height is H, height of image by height of object, H dash by H. That is equal to, we know, image distance by object distance, previously we derived for the convex lens. Okay, magnifying power formula, height of image by height of object, H dash by H. And that is equal to image distance by object distance, that is V naught by U naught. This is equation 4. Now what we have to do it here, equation 4 substituted in equation 3, equation 4 substituted in equation 3 and then we will get the final formula of the magnifying power for the compound microscope. Then for that purpose, you take the screenshot and note it. Now, let us continue now. P 
previously you see the equation 4 what you got the equation 4 equation 4 substituted in equation 3 next equation 4 is substituted in equation 3 okay then you will get equation 3 is that equation 3 is h dash by h into d by v e plus d by f e this is the formula in that you substitute h this is equation 3 and equation 4 is h dash by h is equal to v naught by u naught this is the magnifying power of objective okay equation 4 is substituted in equation 3 then you will get v naught by u naught in place of h dash by h dash by in place of h dash by h we substitute v naught by u naught into we will get as d by v plus d by f e we will get okay and now this is equation 5 this is the equation and this is the final equation of the magnifying power of the compound microscope this is the equation there is a magnifying power of compound microscope in this but one thing we know that v naught by u naught but v naught by u naught is what is v naught by u naught there is a magnifying power of objective okay magnifying power of objective is v naught by u naught we write here v naught by u naught is the magnifying power of objective just from equation 4 here we write as magnifying power of objective magnifying power of objective lens what you will get that is mo is equal we will get as v naught by u naught and magnifying power of eyepiece previously there are two are there in this compound microscope consists two lenses one is objective and other is eyepiece then eyepiece magnifying power is d by ve plus d by fe that means above formula will become like this m is equal to m o into m e v right this is equation 6 okay now let us discuss few cases that is the case 1 is that if a final image forms at case 1 is that if a final image forms at the near point if final image forms at forms at a near point okay final image forms at near point then what we write okay if final image forms at the near point then the image distance final image distance is equal to d d is called as least distance of distinct vision distance of distinct vision right and now this we substitute in above equation then from equation phi we will get the magnifying power okay magnifying power and along with that uh, one formula i want to write uh, okay uh, that is from the figure after equation 6 we have to write one point uh, that is the length of compound microscope length of compound microscope i want length of compound microscope is the nothing but distance between the objective and eyepiece from the figure what is the distance between the objective and eyepiece you see this distance we know here you see figure v naught plus u e length of compound microscope is nothing but distance between the two lenses distance between the two lenses from the figure you see v naught plus u e v naught plus u e this we can take as equation 7 okay Remember it after the equation 6, you should write this one.
okay let us see here if the final image forms at near point then what we have to write the condition that is the final image distance we have to write as d because final image forms at near point that means final image distance should be equal to least distance of distinct vision then we have to substitute this in equation 5 then you will get the magnifying power as v naught by u naught into here we write d by v e v is again d plus d by f e we will get this will be cancelled then finally we will get one formula that is m is equal to v naught by u naught into 1 plus d by f e this is the formula we have to use when final image forms at the near point this is equation 7 and the next uh, let us continue if the final image forms at infinite then what happens let us discuss the case 2 the case 2 is that when final image forms at the infinite case 2 final image forms at infinite okay if a final image forms at infinite final image forms at infinite okay then the final image distance should be equal to infinite the final image distance is equal to infinite here we have to write the length of a telescope also uh, we have from equation 7 okay this is already 7 it is there it is i2 we have to consider and then the length of telescope we have to write okay and length we will get is what you have to, what you have to write the length from the equation 7 you see the length that is v naught plus u e but no change in the length okay as it is we have to use that is the length is v naught plus u e only no change in this equation because v naught u e is not changed only v e is changed and the now next i am going to write if final image forms at infinite then the final image distance we have to write is infinite this we have to substitute in equation 6 and equation 7 then from equation 5 what you will get okay not in equation 6 and 7 we have to go for the equation 5 then from equation 5 we have to write m is equal to v naught by u naught v naught by u naught but when final image forms at infinite we have to know this condition also there is a final image at infinite but at what situation the final image forms at the infinite we have to draw the ray diagram it here this is an object objective lens this is the eyepiece and this is the principal axis we are taking the object at here this is the objective principal focus this is the objective lens and this is the eyepiece and now the object we will take it here this is an object a b and it for this object a b and the light ray will start it. one light ray we are taking parallel to the principal axis other light ray passes through optical center and they will meet at a point and now there the image will be forms that image we took it as a dash b dash this is the a dash b dash and this image will act as object for the this image will act as object for the eyepiece for example if the you adjust the eyepiece in such a way that the image formed by the objective lens a dash b dash is at the principal focus of eyepiece this is at the principal focus of eyepiece this is at the location f suffix e then when it is at the location f suffix e then what happens when object is at the principal focus of eyepiece then the image automatically forms at the infinite then we take one light ray like this and other light ray parallelly they will go like this and you have to do the in the right side they are parallel to each other they cannot meet even on the left side also if you do the extension they cannot meet at it here then they will go up to infinite that means the final image forms at the 
infinite the final image forms at the infinite because they are going to up to infinite distance okay they are going at up to infinite distance that's why the final image forms at the infinite okay right now in this case what is the object distance this is the object distance for the objective lens that is u naught and the image distance is v naught okay what is the object distance for the eyepiece generally it is ue ue but in this case object distance if it is equal to focal length ue is equal to fe then object is at the principal focus of eyepiece then the final image forms at the infinite that means the ve become infinite if ue is equal to fe then final image distance is equal to infinite right okay this we substitute in the equations and then from the and equation 7 what we write here first we write the magnifying power right magnifying power formula we will get is v naught is the v naught by u naught is the u naught into okay we write here 1 plus 1 plus sorry from equation 5 what we write here first from equation 5 we write next from equation 7 we write from equation 5 we will get is like this that is m is equal to we have v naught by u naught into 1 sorry not 1 what is that d by v e v is infinite plus d by f e then finally what you will get here these two conditions we substitute in above equations right u e is equal to f e we write okay u e is equal to f e and v e is equal to infinite then we will get this one like this then we will get like this m is equal to v naught by u naught into d by f e we have to write this is equation 9 this one and this is equation 10 we have to write and the next uh, length length okay length of uh, compound microscope length of compound microscope we have to write l is equal to okay l is equal to we write is it is a length v naught plus u e but u e should be f e in order to form final image at infinite then v naught plus u e become v u e is f e that spell it will become like this l is equal to v naught plus f e we will get this is equation 11 okay right take the screenshot and note it and uh, some one more point I will explain regarding this and then I will close now let us continue <coughs> some note point I am going to give right you have to write this in the note what is the side heading what I am taking it here previously we drawn the diagram like this this is an objective okay this is the eyepiece and we are taking the one object at here this is an object okay a b and from here the light ray will start this is the light ray one light ray I am taking parallelly and other light ray passes through optical center it can go in straight and they will meet at a point and there the image will be forms this is the image a dash b dash and this image for the object object distance is u naught this is the object distance for the objective this is objective and this is eyepiece right and image distance is v naught okay 
ఆబ్జెక్ట్ డిస్టెన్స్ జనరల్ డిఫరెంట్ విత్ యూ అండ్ వి బట్ ఫర్ ద ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ యూ సఫిక్స్ ఓ వి సఫిక్స్ ఓ అండ్ ఫర్ ద ఐపీస్ ఇమేజ్ డిస్టెన్స్ వీ విల్ టేక్ ఐస్ యూ దిస్ ఇమేజ్ ఫార్మ్స్ బై ద ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ యాక్ట్ ఐస్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఫర్ ద ఐపీస్ దిస్ విల్ యాక్ట్ ఐస్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఫర్ ద ఐపీస్ ఐ ఫర్ ద ఐపీస్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ డిస్టెన్స్ యూ ఈ వీ విల్ టేక్ ఓకే దెన్ ఇట్ ఫార్మ్స్ ద ఫైనల్ ఇమేజ్ దెన్ వన్ లైటర్ వీ విల్ టేక్ లైక్ దిస్ దట్ ఈస్ పాసెస్ త్రూ ఆప్టికల్ సెంటర్ ఇట్ కెన్ గో ఇన్ స్ట్రేట్ వితౌట్ బెండింగ్ అండ్ దర్ లైటర్ ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ ప్యారల్ టు ద ప్రిన్సిపల్ యాక్సిస్ దెన్ ఇట్ విల్ గో లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ ద ఫైనల్లీ ద ఫా ఇమేజ్ ఈస్ ఫార్మింగ్ ఆన్ ద సేమ్ సైడ్ బీ డిస్కస్డ్ రైట్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ డయాగ్రామ్ దిస్ వన్ ప్రీవియస్లీ విడ్ రాంగ్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఫైనల్ ఇమేజ్ ద ఫైనల్ ఇమేజ్ ఈజ్ ఐజీ ద మీన్స్ ఫైనల్ ఎన్లార్జ్డ్ ఇమేజ్ విల్ అపియర్స్ ఫర్ యూ దిస్ ఇమేజ్ డిస్టెన్స్ వి ఈస్ విఈ ఫర్ ద ఐపీస్ అబ్జెక్ట్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఈజ్ యూఈ అండ్ ఇమేజ్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఈజ్ విఈ అండ్ ద డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద టూ లెన్సెస్ ఓకే ద డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద టూ లెన్సెస్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ ఐజ్ ద లెంత్ ఆఫ్ టెలిస్కోప్ లెంత్ ఆఫ్ నాట్ టెలిస్కోప్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ కాంపౌండ్ మైక్రోస్కోప్ ఓకే రైట్ నౌ ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ దట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఫోకస్ of the objective and here this is the principal focus of objective if when you move the object towards the objective lens then image also moves right side near to eyepiece if i am taking one case that if object distance if object distance if object distance u not nearly equal to if object distance u not nearly equal to f not then if object distance nearly equal to f not that means object is nearly at the principal focus then image distance is the image distance then image distance v not is equal to this will be very this image a dash b dash is very close to i piece that's why this u is neglected then we take v not as nearly l okay what we are doing it here actually <coughs> in this how you will get this v not is l l is v not plus u e right l is v not plus u e but u e we can take as zero right then we write l is equal to v not only i am assuming that this distance is very small comparing to v not that's why well, u e is v not equal to l okay and this will happens okay now we substitute uh, if image if final image forms at near point if final image forms at near point if final image forms at the near point then what is the magnifying power formula right from equation i think uh, i'm not remembered you see that equation v not by u not into 1 plus d by fe it is a formula now in this we substitute v not as l and u not as f not then you will get the equation like this that is L by F naught into 1 plus D by F E we will get. And the length of telescope what happens? Length of the compound microscope is L only. Okay. And the next one is if a final image forms set infinite. If final image forms set infinite. if final image forms at infinite okay final image forms at infinite then magnifying power formula right what happens magnifying power formula we derived it here previous case yes that is m is equal when final image forms at near point okay infinite this infinite is a normal adjustment okay we say that it is normal adjustment normally we will adjust to form at the infinite then at here i relaxes okay if image forms at the infinite then i relaxes okay and now in this case what we have to do it here we have to substitute uh, magnifying power formula we know when final image forms at uh, infinite that is v not by u not into d by f e right but what we have to do it here if u not is nearly equal to f not then what you are getting v not nearly equal to l v not nearly equal to l we are getting where l is the what 
length of compound microscope what is length of compound microscope the distance between the two lenses is called as length of compound microscope okay then this we substitute in above equation then we will get l by f naught into d by f e right okay and one important point i will give it here important point you note it important point what is that important point what i am giving it here you see here for example set of you you have so many lenses in set of lenses okay we have to select we have to select whose focal lens whose focal lens are less okay for example there are so many lenses they give in that you have to select the lenses with less focal lens in order to get large magnification in order to get large magnification magnification in order to get large magnification we have to select because the in order to get large magnification we have to select uh, whose focal lengths are very less that means f not f e must be less f not f e both should be less and in that f not should be less than f e this condition we should follow because we know that magnifying power is inversely proportional to f not and f e you see here if f not and f e are less then m will be more magnification is more large image will be forms that means you have to select the lenses with focal less focal lens to form a compound microscope and in that f not should be less than f e okay these are the formulas and uh, watch the lecture for two times and then you will understood if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you